What is going on everyone, Near again, here for you, some Call of Duty Black Ops 2, playing some Kill Confirm, it's time of the map hijacked, using a Remington R870 shotgun, I've got long barrel, now I've got laser sight on, using that blue camouflage, because I've had this gun gold for so long that I'm kind of bored of gold, I want to try some new camos, and I like the way blue looks on this gun, in fact, I'm actually working on diamond on my shotguns right now, I finished off the Remington, I finished off the KSG, and I finished off the S12, and now I'm currently working on the M1216, uh, once I finish that off, I'll finally have my diamond shotties and that bling bling. But check this out right here. No! Leave me alone! No! No! Oh, no. And he gets me. <laughs> now you think, man, that's annoying. But yeah, man, I'm working on uh, diamond shotguns. I started playing this game again last night, and it was a really, really fun play session. It was, it was one of the play sessions where you're on like five hours straight. And I was having a blast, man. I was using shotguns primarily throughout the entire night. And uh, I was having a lot of fun with it. And for a while there... We were actually within game chat uh, uh, while we were playing it, so I could hear the death reactions. And speaking of death reactions, check us out. One, and two, and three, and the quad feed. Ladies and gentlemen, with the R870, thank you, thank you. No applause. Does that deserve a like? I think it deserves a like. But, back on topic, we were actually playing in game chat. When you're in game chat and you kill somebody and they also have a mic in, you know, the death chat pops up. You can kind of hear their, death, their final words, I guess you would call it. You can hear them complain after you kill them. Well... I was using a shotgun primarily throughout the evening. I was using the S12 a lot, and like I said, the M1216. And I was kept hearing these people dying, and they're like, "Oh, freaking shotgun or just shotgun noob, overpowered bitch!" And you know, they were just yelling all the time about dying to my shotguns. And this is something I'm already aware of, right? So I haven't posted a ton of shotgun gameplay here on my channel, but I have posted some. And I also look, watch other people. I watch other YouTube videos of people using shotguns, and you know, reading through the comments on there. The general conclusion that a good fraction of the community has actually come to is that the R870 is overpowered, shotguns are cheap, take them out of the game and nerf them all. You know, just everyone seems to hate shotguns. And uh, I'm wondering why. Why do people hate shotguns in Call of Duty? I mean, they've been around since forever. I, I, I didn't play much COD 2 or 3, so I can't honestly say they've been around since COD 4. That was six games ago. You know, it's just, why are people, like, now just starting to hate shotguns more and more and more? And I started thinking about it a little bit more. I'm like, well, I think the reason people hate shotguns is because they're angry. That's about it. They're just annoyed. They get annoyed when they get killed by a shotgun. If you think about it, people that claim shotguns to be overpowered, I honestly don't feel as though those are players that actually use shotguns. I think those are people who are basing their entire opinion about the gun, or the gun category in general, just off the kill cams, the times they die to it, because they, they don't like using shotguns themselves. Because when people actually, you know, you say, oh, the Remington's so cheap, it's so overpowered, you actually make a class with it for yourself. How overpowered is it then? No, you find yourself getting hit markers, you find yourself dying outside of your effective range, which that's what I like about shotguns in general. That's the reason that, you know, shotguns are my, I'm going to say probably my second favorite weapon category in Call of Duty. I, I would say first is submachine guns, just because submachine guns are so easy, and they really lean themselves towards this rushing, heavy, rush heavy play style that I've kind of accustomed myself to. And so SMGs definitely work great, but right behind that would be the shotguns, because it's almost the same play style, but a little bit more difficult. You know, I'm running around with the shotgun. What I like about the shotgun is the fact that your effective range, I, I don't know the exact numbers, right? I'm not, I'm not really a numbers kind of guy. Uh, I, you can ask Drifter, he probably knows, but me, myself, I'm not really a numbers guy, right? So I generally base the range about five or six feet away from you. You know, if five or six feet away from your character is probably the area in which you're going to get one shot kill. And that's if you get them a nice, solid, clean, you know, shot to the chest where half the pellets coming out of your shotgun shell are actually hitting the guy. You know, about that range, five or six feet. When you're using a shotgun, you have to navigate the map so perfectly, so masterfully to get within that range and not put yourself in bad situations where you're essentially unarmed. Because when you're without, you know, outside of that five to six foot range then you're useless. You are essentially unarmed because there's nothing you can do. If you've actually used shotguns, which I'm sure every one of you at one point or another has actually used a shotgun, I'm going to create a scenario here. Um, let's think of the map Overflow, right? The really slummy looking town. Let's say you're running down that street going towards the B flag and somebody pops their head out of a window. You're done. <laughs> there's nothing you can do. You can do what you can to jump and duck and try and dunk into a window or something. Or you run into a doorway. But other than that, there's really nothing you can do. Yeah, with outside of your effective range, that's why I like shotguns, because it's almost like challenging yourself. It's like crippling yourself to the point where, well, while you're giving yourself an advantage within that range, because it's pretty hard to beat a shotgun within its effective range, which is the point of a shotgun, 
Other than that, you're unarmed. Which the same goes for sniper rifles, you know? You think of a sniper rifle, you know, you can see a sniper all the way across the map and be like, damn. And then you just know you're done because that guy's scoped in on you. can see him pointing up his sights. You're like, man, I'm done. That sniper's about to get me. That can happen. And do you think snipers are overpowered because they can one-shot kill you from across the map? No! That's what they're there for! Same goes for shotguns. If you think about it, you know, shotguns are there to be able to kill people within two or three, four, five, six, seven feet. Right? That's what they're there for. And I honestly feel as though people just, uh, they give it this false title of overpowered when they really aren't. The people that claim this gun to be overpowered or claim the shotgun class in general to be overpowered, in my opinion, I feel as though those people don't actually use a shotgun. Me, I have about 3,500 shotgun kills. Not the most, definitely not the most shotgun kills in the world, but uh, I've been using them quite a bit, especially a lot more lately, and I really like the class. But if you actually use the shotguns, you realize they're not this overpowered monster you think they are. People say, well, the KSG's got all this crazy range. Well, yeah, well, KSG also shoots a slug and misses half the time. You know, the Remington's range isn't that good. The S12's range is even worse, and you have to spray. You have to have a trigger finger with that thing. If anything, I'd say the S12 is probably the best shotgun. M1216 is pretty inconsistent, but overall, man, I'll probably talk about this in another shotgun video because I got a bunch of shotgun gameplays, but I just wanted to get my general thoughts out there. I don't feel as though shotguns are overpowered, but I'm not a Nazi. I'm not going to sit here and claim that my opinion is more valid than yours. So if you guys go ahead and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I think everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But uh, gameplay is wrapping up. Final score of 43-7. and seven. Pretty good. 36 confirms. 5 denies. And if I could make one comparison before we part ways with this video. Just one comparison. I am what you consider a nerd at Call of Duty. Right? I play a lot. I do YouTube. That's, that's kind of my thing. I play a lot of Call of Duty. That game, I was using the Remington. I go 43 and 7, 36 confirms, 5 denies. Pretty good game. Well, Autumn Ashes is my brother. He barely plays Call of Duty. He doesn't. He plays maybe once a week or so. He was also using the Remington in that game. He goes 10 and 12 with 13 confirms and 3 denies. You see the skill difference there? Wait, shotguns are not overpowered. It's just that if someone's doing well with a shotgun, they're a good player. You're not going to find someone like my brother that plays once or twice a week. Drop in 43 kills and a 6v6 kill confirmed without lethal kill streaks. It, it, it doesn't happen. But hope you guys all enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, this is a democracy. You guys say whether or not you can express your opinions on the shotguns. I'm just putting it out there that I don't feel as though shotguns are as overpowered as people say they are. And I can understand they're annoying. I'll, I'll agree to that. It's annoying that when that guy gets in with that range and he takes you out, I'll say it's annoying. But I won't say it's overpowered. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Please write the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.